everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a flip through of this gorgeous book, which I have really kindly been sent by the team over at Colour Year. This is their new Four Seasons colouring book. So we have this beautiful matte front cover with the spiral binding along the top as we have come to know and love with these gorgeous books. And then if we turn it over, we have a little sort of um, a little quote. Here. It's an etching, spring a watercolour, summer an oil painting and autumn a mosaic of them all. That's a quote by Stanley Horowitz. Absolutely beautiful. So let's open up this book and see what we have inside. So we have our nameplate page. And with Colour Year, their books are printed on this amazing, really thick, white cardstock. It's beautiful and smooth and it takes mediums beautifully. And then we have a little information page here. Um, what you could do with this page is remove it if you wanted to and maybe use it as a blotter page. Or if you just want to keep it in there as an information page, then you can absolutely do that as well. And then as you can see, we have got some colourable elements there around the page. Our ISBN number. We have a little QR code here. And um, if you scan the QR code, that will take you to Colliers Facebook group. Now, what I will do is put the link to their group and the link to purchase this book down in the video description for you as well. So you can find that information there. So I have noticed that most of the pages in this book are landscape we do have a few portrait but for the majority they are landscape so what i'm going to do is zoom you in so you get a really good look at these gorgeous gorgeous images here there we go and these are so pretty really really lovely so if you're into, you know, your your scenery and landscapes and nature, this would be a really, really wonderful book for you. Now, what I love is you really get that hand-drawn feeling with this artwork. And I just think it gives it that really gorgeous sort of natural and organic feel to it, which I personally really, really enjoy. You know, so it's nice that you've got sort of like, you know, some wonky lines and things like that. I just, I find it really endearing and it just gives it an overall kind of charm, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I just really enjoy it. And this is gorgeous. Love this one. Okay, so here is one of our portrait pages. There we go. So we've got our sheep and lambs there in the field please excuse the moving of the book i just want to show you these pages as best i can because they are just gorgeous i'm not sure how watercolor would work on here but i'd really like to give it a try i think a, a painterly feel would look so nice on some of these images. And that's beautiful, seen from a window. It's so pretty. So you'll notice that there are some simpler pages amongst this as well. Um, but, you know, they're, they're your pages. You can do with them as you please. You know, if you want to add your own details or just, you know, colour them sort of a, a straight colour. 
I'm sure that whatever it is you do with your pages and how you decide to colour them, they will just look absolutely gorgeous. This is another portrait page here, so let's turn that around. How beautiful is that? Absolutely gorgeous. It's a really cute little hummingbird here. Yeah. And then we are back to our landscapes again. Now I love this one. I love the the picnic blanket with all the goodies laid out. And you've got sort of like a little pair of sandals or slippers there as well. So gorgeous. And, you know, if you know me by now, you know that I've shared quite a few of Colliers books here on the channel. And the quality of their paper, the binding, the thought that goes into these books and the quality is second to none. I think they're gorgeous. Oh, look, with the deers and things there in the woods. That is adorable. There you go. If you like leaves, this will keep you busy for a little while. <laughs> Gorgeous. And that would look beautiful whether you decide to do that, you know, maybe if you want to give it sort of like an autumnal colour palette. Um, you know, so you've got sort of like these gorgeous like oranges and reds and maybe umbers on the leaves. Or whether you want to keep it really bright and vibrant. These gorgeous sort of green leaves with like a little bit of chartreuse thrown in yeah I'm sure either way will look absolutely beautiful absolutely lovely okay so this is another portrait one an owl here in a tree which I love you guys know owls and owls are my thing they're my favorite and this one there's certainly a lot in here to keep you busy You know, you could try out your different colour blends on the trees and whatnot. It, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Now, as you've probably noticed, these are printed one-sided. Um, and because it's thick card, if you do use alcohol markers, they, they will bleed through to the next side. But because of the thickness and the quality of the card... They don't tend to bleed through a ridiculous amount, but I would still put a blotter page between. It's just just to be on the safe side in case you have like some extra juicy markers that may absorb right through the paper. You just don't want to spoil your next image. Love this one. Yeah, I really like that. another portrait here so we've got this gorgeous castle up here and it's looking down on all this scenery here little bridge and some trees and things yeah really lovely love this one this is one of my favourites this one I can just imagine this coloured, you know, with all sort of like deep blues and turquoises and navy blues. And then a little bit of sparkle on the snow would look absolutely gorgeous. You see what I mean about that hand-drawn feel? I just, I just find it really endearing. It just gives the pages a real charm which I really do appreciate. 
and peacocks there by a fountain. And that is it. So that is it, my lovelies. Thank you so much for joining. And again, a great big thank you to Kalia for thinking of me and sending me this beautiful book to share with you all on the channel. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all again soon. Lots of love. Bye.